Information still coming in on this case, but some details are starting to emerge. We are at Hartford and Bent here just south of Tower Grove Park. You see police still have a stretch of Hartford closed off as the investigation unfolds. The home where this all happened is just down Hartford from us. As we mentioned, authorities still keeping us a pretty good distance away from the scene as they try to piece together all of the facts. We can show you the latest video we captured from the scene not too long ago. It appears to be a man upset on the ground with police next to him. The man then gets up as he talks on the phone. We don't know the connection of this person to the situation here, but it just depicts the emotions involved with what has taken place. Another person arrived as well a little earlier. She was distraught and escorted down the street by police. This all started just after 9 o'clock. 9:20 last night when police were called to the 4200 block of Hartford here for a shooting. When officers arrived, they found a woman dead on the porch of a home. Police believe she had been shot by a man who was inside the home and refused to come out. A police commander at the scene here telling us as officers were checking on the woman, the suspect inside the home opened fire on the police. Officers fired back and a standoff started. The SWAT team was called in as well. Investigators tell us the male suspect had both handguns and long rifles that he was shooting at the officers. We're told a little after 11 p.m. the SWAT team fired some sort of gas into the home. Then a little later, the SWAT team went in and found the man dead. It is unclear if the male suspect killed himself or if he could have been shot and killed during the exchange of gunfire with police. No officers were hurt. The force investigation unit has been called in because officers fired their weapons in this incident. For now, live in South City, Chris Renier, Fox News.